Hello, my name is Sylvie. I'm about to show you how to use this new home sewing machine. Now, this is the treadle. It's quite a good quality one, as it happens. So we'll put that on the floor. It actually goes... Mm, let me see. Goes, yeah, that way. That way round. Okay, you put your foot on there. Oh, there we go. And then, got the bobbin. I wanted to show you a bobbin winder. All right, so we put the, the black cotton on here. It got, it's gone It's gone round here to here, onto this thing here, in between the little symbols here, little tension. Make sure it's tight enough so it doesn't fall off. It mustn't fall off there. So keep an eye on it. And it comes along to there, around the bobbin winder, of which... Now we'll put that on. Now here, ah, oh, I'm gonna have to try and show you without. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I need hands to show you. You have to. I wonder if I can do this. You need to. Oh dear! Keep it still. Sips up first of all, way. Oh. Oh, it just wants to move. All right. No, it's not happening. Anyway, let's see if I can show you by. There we are. I need to put you on a pair of scissors to show you what, what I'm doing of. Just going to lift it up higher. Oops. Hmm. You have to move this so that that's it. You have to loosen that so you can do the what bobbin winder. Let's switch it on. Machine. And it and it will wind up without moving the um can you see the machine doesn't the needle doesn't go up and down. It disables it. The stables and it's winding the bobbin up. Yeah. Right, so that's that bit. And look, it fell off. Can you see the cotton fell off? You've got to watch that, that it doesn't um, fall off. Because if this is loose, if this is spongy in there, when you put your nail in there and it's not hard, then the tension's not right on the bobbin. So this has fell off. It keeps falling off there. So you have to keep an eye on that. Maybe you should put it through this one. But with some machines, you can machine at the same time. I don't think you can with this one very well. Now let's take the bobbin off there. Let's put this back. Now we're supposed to tighten it up. Put that there to tighten it up. Take that off there. And you mustn't get that stuck in there either. Here we are. Let's tighten this up. That means that this will move now. That's it. That is now. Whoops, a daisy. Take this out of there because it's just falling. No good. Uh. All right. Now that will sew. Now to do a, a back tack, you have to press this button in here. Very strange indeed. Oops. Let's try it. It's a bit difficult without the machine. That's it. Go. Yes, it's going backwards. Yes, that is going backwards. And then let go. And that's going forwards now. Yeah, brilliant. This here, don't touch that. <laughs> that's to do with it. What it does is, I'll let me show you what it does. If you want to do embroidery and without the foot. It does something to the feet here. It it makes the when you turn it. Well, I don't really want to turn it because um it took me a while to get that back again. Um, inside there, it, it brings the teeth down if you move this this up. We want it down to do the sewing so that the teeth are engaged with the material. So when you put that up, but then when you put that up, you have to then do something with the presser foot here. 
you have to press that down and adjust them together now you can get instructions for this online this uh, machine i'll put a link in the um tab there for you to um pick up all right so it's instructions for this machine for this model online okay um any questions just ask um yeah that's it oh also one last thing is see this thing here i thought we actually went behind there but it doesn't no it just goes straight along there make sure it's caught in there and down behind the back and then forward try not to um get the cotton wrapped around the um the bottom of the needle and it, it won't work properly if you do that all right that's it for now bye